Hello, my name is Dr. Robert Sedlak, one of the gastroenterologists at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. At Digestive Disease Week this year, I'll be presenting uh, my research uh, focused on endoscopy education, in particular, training of new fellows in colonoscopy. Over the past 20 years, uh, gastroenterologists have uh, called for a more accurate competency assessment in our uh, trainees, but have, there's been really no guidance as to exactly how to assess nor uh, how to assess these skills nor uh, where the competency bar should be set. So to answer, the, answer these two lingering questions, we performed a study to assess uh, colonoscopy skills in our trainees and to uh, better define colonos colonoscopy competence. During the study, we've had 41 different fellows evaluated by over 50 different staff. And based on uh, our data, we've found that it requires roughly 275 colonoscopies to by the average fellow to uh, achieve competence in both our uh, cognitive and motor skills as well as to achieve what we've defined as an 85 percent sequel intubation rate and a sequel intubation time of less, less than 16 minutes. Well, what's different about this data is this is really the first time that anybody has assessed the core, or broken down the procedure into core cognitive and motor skills and actually assessed those skills and more importantly, this is the first time anybody has actually defined what the competency bars are based on uh, statistical analysis rather than simply looking at plateaus and learning curves and arbitrarily picking a, uh, a passing threshold. The message is that the original standards set, set forth by the uh, major GI societies that 140 colonoscopies is uh, uh, the minimum number of procedures required really needs to be increased um, and in fact the uh, American Society for GI Endoscopy is currently rewriting their core colonoscopy curriculum as a result of these studies or a result of this study and uh, uh, others well the next the next step in our research really is going to be to show generalization of our data what that means is essentially does does this research done at Mayo apply outside of Mayo Clinic's walls and uh, so a multi-centered trial would be uh, the next phase of, uh, of this to uh, prove that the uh, learning curves and data uh, indeed apply to, uh, to all trainees rather than just Mayo gastroenterology fellows.